A funny thing happened on the way to fancy high-end gaming. Monitors have gotten cheaper faster than video cards. You can now buy a 4K 144 Hertz LG monitor for $800. Those were two grand a year ago. Mm -hmm. They have way come down in price, but the graphics card required to run a 4K 144 hertz monitor is like all the graphics card. Now in my particular situation, I'm gonna use it as an example for everybody watching because I wonder how many people get caught out on this. And I would love to hear the comments from people who did run into this challenge. Maybe somebody has a 1080p monitor yep. and an RX 580, mm -hmm. and they upgraded, because right now you can get a 1440p 165 hertz monitor for under $300, and people see that and they go, wow, 1440p 144 hertz, nice curved gaming monitor, free sync, the whole nine yards. I have an RX 580, uh, I can game on that. And they upgrade to it. And go. Oh, I don't know how well this plan was thought through because an RX 580 is woefully inadequate for a 1440p 144 hertz monitor. Go GPU, go! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's no bueno, that's not gonna cut it. So, in my personal situation, it's a little bit higher than that, but the same thing happens. At home, my personal gaming computer at home has an RTX 2070 Super. That's a pretty good video card. That's much faster than an RX 580, so I'm set. I have an Acer Predator X34, 34-inch ultra-wide. That is a 3440 by 1440p, 100 hertz G-Sync monitor. Works really well with my 2070 Super. I do have to compromise details. If I play the latest AAA games, it's not gonna play Cyberpunk very well. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a bit slow on it. But for older games, Division 2, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, those games, by the way, both came out about two years ago, a little uh -huh. less than two years ago. They run okay, but they're not new anymore. No. You think they're new, but they really aren't. They're not. Um, Cyberpunk on a 34-inch ultra-wide with a 2070 Super is really, no, that's, that's not going to happen. But what if I want to upgrade? What if, for example, I want a better monitor? I don't want a 4K monitor because I've had that and I like the ultra wide. You agree, you have an ultra wide. I do, I like it. You you enjoy, it's it's 50% wider than a 14, 40, it's like a 27 inch, a 34 inch ultra wide for those of you who don't know is a 27 inch 1440p with just 50% stretch to give you more peripheral vision. It's a nice shape, but I am used to 32 inch monitors in the 16.9, those are my 4K work monitors. I want more height. The 1440p's are a little bit short for me. So I recently got myself a new monitor. Now, these are third-party sellers, and so I didn't pay this much because honestly, you should no. be getting this for about 1500, maybe maybe 1600. 1800 is too much. Uh, this is the LG Ultra Gear 38 inch, not 34 inch, 3840 by 1600, 144 hertz, overclockable to 175. This is one of the nicest gaming monitors you can buy. It is big, it is huge, it is almost the same height as the 32 inch monitor, but with the extra 50% width, but without the 4K resolution, so it's easier to run. Correct, but there's a but there, folks. An RTX 2070 Super <laughs> is. <laughs> I think I can. I'm gonna pull up some numbers here because I want I want you I want to show you why this is such a bad idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up two calculators here. On on the left side of your screen, if I can get my lefts and rights yeah, exactly. working right. On the left side of your screen, I'm gonna do my current monitor. My current monitor is a 3440 by 1440p monitor. And it is a 100 hertz monitor, and I do use it at 100 hertz with G-Sync turned on. And that means that monitor has to push half a billion pixels, or my graphics card has to drive half a billion pixels per second. It's amazing it does it at all. Mm -hmm. But that's quite demanding. But it does it with some compromises. It does with compromises. Now let's come over here on the right-hand side. My new 38-inch LG Super Ultra Wide Super Dave is 3840, so it is the same horizontal resolution as 4K, but it's shorter. It's only 1600, 
4K is normally 2160, times 1600, times 100. And we're going to ignore the overclock for a minute because to be honest, I don't play games where I care. I'm going to run mine at 144. I'm not going to bother with 175. It's not double my current monitor, really? but it's really close. Now, it's G-Sync, and so it's variable refresh. So anything in the 100-ish frame rates would actually still be smooth because the video card and the monitor will adapt to each other, so it's okay. Yep. But if you really want good performance, we go from 500 million to nearly 900 million. How many people here... 34 inch ultra wide, 38 inch ultra wide. They're both roughly the same. 1440p, 1600p, it sounds about the same. Oh, 100 hertz, 144. They're kind of, they're pretty close. No, you need double the graphics performance just to, now I already said that um, current games, Watch Dogs Legion, Cyberpunk 2077, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla are really not, they run, the huge compromises are required. You got to turn the render resolution down. You got to turn the details down. Ray tracing's a joke. Um, you have to turn everything down to medium. You've got to turn render resolution down to 70 or 80% just to get a really good experience. What this means is I have to put an RTX 3080 Ti, not a 3080 because with all those pixels, or 3090 if I want the same compromise experience. The same compromise experience. I need to spend between $1,000 to $1,500 on a video card, and I'm still compromised. I will not be able to play at 100 frames per second with high or very high detail consistently using a 3080 Ti or a 3080 or 3090 on this new monitor. Now, we just had a viewer that purchased a 4K 144Hz monitor. Now, if he wants to play Fortnite, Apex Legends, Hyperscape, he's fine. Right. Um, a 3090 will struggle to even hit 60 frames per second, even with DLSS turned on. Much less as 144. So the point of this video is if you are upgrading your monitor, if you get a really cool, you go... Three hundred dollars on that fourteen forty p one hundred forty four hertz, or uh, eight hundred dollars four k one hundred forty four hertz, or eight hundred bucks. What video card do you plan to buy? That's the question. Just keep that in mind, because the better the video card you buy, uh, no, the better the monitor you, you buy, buy. Not only do you have to upgrade your video card now, but you are committing yourself to buying all the nice video cards. For years to come. With that 38 inch LG Super Ultra Wide, I am putting myself in the position that if I want to play new games, I always have to put the newest video card on. And that will be the case for probably the next 10 years. Our viewer who bought the 4K 144 Hertz monitor for 800 bucks will spend $4,000 on video cards in the next few years. Every, t every two years, you're buying the new flagship card, and you'll be doing it probably for the life of your monitor. Just keep that in mind when you see a deal on a monitor. What's the video card cost to run it? If you can't find your monitor, we send it back. <laughs> uh, just something to keep in mind, folks.